Amazon is rolling out its first fleet of all electric delivery vans. And guess what? They have doors on them. And we were talking about heat waves and we we're talking about UPS and frequent stops. I don't think these trucks care. They're made by Rivian and they got all the tech. So you're damn right. They got to have some type of cooling going on. Mm. Not just that. I'm watching the clip and the guy uh, from, well, whatever this is, wlocks.com. Uh, I mean, like, it's a news affiliate. It's, like a, it's a local news affiliate. But it's like a rollout of all these vehicles. It's kind of uh, it's kind of cute. Yeah, yeah, no, they're definitely good looking as far as delivery vehicles go. And the guy gets in there and he says it's gonna, they're going to have heated and cooled seats and heated and cooled steering wheel. And I'm like, nice. I was like, wait a sec. I've never seen a cooled steering wheel. I've seen a heated steering wheel. I've seen cooled seats. I haven't, I don't know if he slipped up or if it actually has a cooled steering wheel, which would be very cool. Yeah. A cooled steering wheel would be cool. Anyway, point being is there's a real uh, consideration, not just of the climate, like the global climate with the electric vehicle and the emissions and such, but also the inside climate of the vehicle for delivery drivers who are either cooking or freezing in there. Uh, Plus... Two touchscreens. All types of tech in there. You don't have to reference your phone as much or yeah. any type of special delivery equipment. Like Everything's a, tied to the Amazon ecosystem. It says Amazon right delivery. on the steering yeah. wheel there. And so, yeah, you go from delivery to delivery. A lot of security features as well with like mm. forward collision and uh, cameras that are detecting <clears throat> potential problems out front of the vehicle because those are extra stress points for people who spend as many hours as these drivers do in here. I don't know how much of an extra nuisance with the charging and how that will all be set up, but they're going to be deploying quite a few of these. And of course, we know about the relationship between Bezos and Rivian, and this is just a connection of these brands and these companies. And it's a huge contract for Rivian. Um, Amazon has a climate pledge to reach net zero carbon by 2040, which you might be saying... uh, Amazon, a tech company, that should be sooner or something like that. But for them, it's got to be one of the toughest missions because of the nature of their business. And scale. Moving physical things around. Yeah. Um, Rivian vehicles are going to help meet that goal. They invested more than $1 billion in the company to make this custom fleet to their specification for their purposes. Uh, drivers will start and end their days at Amazon fulfillment centers, charging the vehicle overnight for the next day's shift. No gas stops will be needed. A current cities that these are going to be rolled out in Nashville, St. Louis, Dallas, Seattle, Chicago. There's a couple of others. He wants to see Bezos wants to see a hundred thousand of them on the road by the end of the decade. Uh, heated and cooled seats and steering wheels, exterior cameras, automatic emergency braking and collision warning technology. This can take a lot of stress off. Uh, 100 U.S. cities by the end of the year. Woo! That's big. That's big stuff, Will. I can see a lot of delivery drivers wanting to drive for them just so they get the nice truck and they're staying cool. Yeah. Right now, right about now. It's getting I com- mean, yeah. Shout out Amazon. They're com- doing something right. Getting competitive out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the other, you know, most of the Amazon stuff that I get at this point is like local courier stuff. It's not even a special truck. So I'm curious how they're going to balance that out. Mm. Part-time, full-time, all this stuff. It's uh, The driving thing is quite interesting.